When you think of tall animals, you probably think of giraffes. And you're right. Of the land mammals, they take the prize for longest necks. The neck of a giraffe has seven vertebrates, just like people. But each vertebrae is elongated, and they're connected as a ball and socket joint, so their necks are very flexible. Giraffes are native to Africa. A male giraffe can get taller than a female, up to 18 feet in height. Note the two horns on each giraffe's head. These start out as cartilage on newborn giraffes, but over time that cartilage turns to bone. The horns stay under the skin and fur of the giraffe. Of all the giraffe senses, their sense of sight is the best developed. These eyes, plus the fact that they're so tall, helps the giraffe spot predators from far off. Their legs can deliver quite a kick, protecting most adults. A giraffe's legs are long and not all that flexible, and that makes their gait a bit stiff whether they're walking or running. Nonetheless, giraffes can run pretty fast, some up to 37 miles per hour. Their mouths and tongues serve them well in eating leaves from trees. Their lips are tough, allowing them to eat leaves from thorny branches. And their tongues, well, they're long and they can grab branches by twisting around them. Here's a nice close look at the giraffe's mouth and tongue in action. Here's a baby giraffe, born in captivity at Wildlife Safari in Winston, Oregon. Visitors to Wildlife Safari can see giraffes up close by going on a feeding activity. These giraffes approach this open wagon to snack on lettuce that will be handed to them. Maya is also a female. She is going to be five. And then her baby, Kelly. So he's just over three months. So they're just not in the drive through right now because he is a little too small. To go. While visitors feed the giraffes, staff members educate them on the giraffes they're feeding. Erin's obviously that. She says no. I do the carnivore. Dolan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm serious. Maybe they got long tongues. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably notice a, a few other differences with these guys. One, Aaron is much lighter than me. That is because they are two different subspecies of giraffe. So there are nine yeah. subspecies of giraffe total. And we represent two of them here at Wildlife Safari. Mate is a Rothschild. So they are much darker with those dark brown spots and the caramel in between their spots. And then Erin is a reticulated, so she has those bright orange spots with the bright white channels in between her spots. They tell Mate's head is a lot more lumpy and bumpy than Erin's is, and that's because the males sequester calcium in a different way. Um, they have calcium deposits all over their head, and that's mainly just for... <laughs> Can you get something funky in your mouth, mate? Um, added armor onto the males' heads because these males do fight for dominance. Sharon, you're just a little She's like, nope, I'm going to steal it right out of your mouth. Okay. So the males have all those lumps and bumps to protect their head during fights. Giraffes have many physical adaptations that help them survive in their habitats. The most obvious is their long, muscular neck. That puts their head up high. That's where they can reach food that's out of reach by most other animals. This male has left the visitors, perhaps tired of having his food snatched away. While videographer Alex McGlasson films him, the other giraffe takes an interest in his camera. Hi. I don't think you're close enough, Alex. Good thing I've got the wide angle on there. I mean. Hi. <laughs> she wants you. Oh my goodness. She's very curious. <laughs> I can figure it out. 
These giraffes proved to be quite the characters. Later the same day, this giraffe makes an unexpected appearance to summer campers who are here to see elephants. Sadly, giraffes in the wild are not doing so well. Poaching and habitat loss are putting them in danger of extinction. Most would agree that these marvelous mammals are worthy of our protection. <laughs> 